Hello guys, welcome to Life Room. My name is Manu. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning in to this video, today's video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for tuning in to, to today's video. And so, if you're new to the channel, I'm actually uh, a content creator. I love creating content. I love making, actually, my vision in the, in, in the long run where I see myself, I see myself creating content, films and everything. Uh, TV shows, actually, there are some TV shows I've been scripting and everything. That is the... The, the big dream yeah producing christian movies and uh, yeah those big movies and films and everything and so in today's video i'm actually going to be taking you guys back to where it all okay not wait yeah where it all started yeah and so i have a passion in film production i've always wanted to do journalism but now i had a passion in film production I discovered that's the area I want to do mainly. And so last year I got a scholarship at uh, a film organization that is based in Nairobi called Filamu Juani. Just go to Instagram, search for Filamu Juani, like filming under the sun. Filamu Juani, search for Filamu Juani on Instagram and you are going to find their page and you are going to see the services that they get to offer. And so at Filamu Juani, that is actually what I'm actually going to be showing you in today's video. The behind the scenes because it was it was a three months course. I got a scholarship to go do a three months course uh to that to study film for three months and we did that we did a lot of like it was practical the photography the sound production when it comes to when it comes to filming everything scripting we did everything practically and so for three months and so today i just want you I, I just want to show you guys uh the behind the scene because i used to record myself behind the scenes and so here is the behind the scenes of me uh during those days when i was actually learning this yes guys and so you are about to start Roll A, sin 7, white, all artists, take one. Oh yes guys, and so ready to Mesha Maliza, that was scene, we are from scene 3, yeah, and so right now we're scene 4, uh, scene 4 itakuwa scene ya kama kibanda kibanda hivi, yes I'm still the continuity guy and the slater, <laughs> yes, yes guys, and so that was scene, uh, that was scene 7, here it was scene 7, our seventh scene, to end up to scene 8, which is most probably our last scene, and so this is our eighth scene, I thought we can get to one of the it's supposed to be a black screen, a dark room. As it is, dark as it is. Black screen pale. Do you black screen? I'm a black, black drop. I'm a black drop. <laughs> yes, yeah, so these are it's in. That's what you can do. And so as you can see, first of all, I remember one time, I, the first time I was just an actor the first time we did a film i was just an actor there acting as the as a particular person be, because i'm short they gave me <laughs> I, I was an actor and so i was an actor then as it went on because i was afraid of taking a role and so at first for me i was like uh, i can't take the major roles i was avoiding them completely because i i was like ah no i don't know how to do anything but now as time went by one day they they actually gave me the role of continuity the person who is in charge of continuity Continuity when it comes to film, continuity is the person who, uh, as a scene is happening, for example, you, we are doing a scene and we have actually done, we are, we are in scene one, this is our scene, this studio, and then we have done take one, we cut, take two, take three, take four, the continuity person writes scripts for the editor, the person that is actually going to edit that movie or that film is going to edit using this script that the continuity person will write and so the continuity person for example will write uh, this is the scene maybe the scene is manu studio and uh, the activity is manu singing or manu talking to the video on a green screen and uh, yeah so take one i also write there how many takes we did take one was how was take one it was poor i write poor take two slightly good take three so that the person who is editing will just come directly to the last take to the take which is actually perfect so if you did six takes 
the person who is editing will just go to take six and so that is continuity i used to do that that that's the first role the next role i did continuity and also slating i was the one who i had the slate to say a hey, role like uh we call it is it reading the slate yeah something of that sort yeah and so i was there like uh role a scene one take four pa! and then i move and so it by there i loved that work of continuity and uh, also the slating part then after that I, the next project we did we went to kibera kibera we were actually doing a a, a documentary and so when we were doing this documentary in kibera i was given the i was the second ad yeah is it second ad or third ad because i was the one who is in charge of like everything the equipment i was given i was kept in charge of the equipment i was the one who wrote the nini i wrote the the things that we'll need i took the things to the office yeah we are going to need uh canon t6i three canon t6i's yeah we're going to need these kinds of lenses you're going to need this number of memory cards we'll need uh this microphone we'll need these and so i did all that early in the morning during the call time call time was actually 6 30 and so call time is the time that people are actually supposed to be on the ground the people who are in that film uh, who are taking part are supposed to reach at a particular time at a, uh, are supposed to meet here at a particular time and so the, that's the call time and so the call time was 6 30 i would go there check the equipment ensure everything is well list everything down that i've actually taken and then go with the bags to the set and then at the set i was the one who was in charge if the nini the dop needs uh 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 huh, needs what needs 35 mm lens i'm the one to change the lenses i give them this this lens like i was in charge of the equipment and everything yeah and so yeah that's what i actually did and that was my experience being behind the scenes and like i just love being on a film set it's so nice it's so enjoyable like it's so it's so nice because it's something that i love it's something that like i love creating i love producing those contents i love like actually these days because during that time i was afraid of being the dop like i felt inadequate of being a dop but right now i can do i can do the photography i can i can do sound i can do light i can do i can do anything right now because i um, after school actually just before we we finish school i used to go even when we don't have classes i'll go there just watch other people doing doing it and then when i came back to nakuru i've been doing uh, i have actually been doing that in church most of the dop have been the dop have been recording sermons and doing live streaming in church and also editing yeah that is how my film life is actually doing and it was so nice going behind the scenes watching that and soon we're actually going to be having life probe studios life probe studios is actually coming up uh recently we launched uh this studio today we're on this green screen yeah and so this is our first studio but life probe to these are first life probe studios but another life probe studios will be coming up very very soon thank you so much for watching this video remember to subscribe down below remember this is day 20 today is day 25 today is 25th yeah this is day 25 of 100 daily videos i'm posting videos every day for 100 days today is day 25 thank you so much for watching this video see you tomorrow day 26 and uh oh i love what's written on this bango check that out freedom freedom and this other one is is written uh we are we are fighting bad guys anyway thank you so much see you tomorrow bye bye